All right, we are just seven weeks away from the Twin Cities Marathon. And whether you are training for the race or just getting started, you know that hard running can be hard on your body. And joining us this morning is Dr. John McKegg, a chiropractor, and Katie Pearson's an avid runner. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. Katie, so, you're training for the marathon, right? I am. Twin Cities will be marathon number eight for me. Ooh, congratulations. I have to say, I'm training two for the marathon. Awesome. And I know that I'm in the heart of my training plan where you're doing a lot of long runs, and that can be really hard on the body. Yes, exactly. I'm feeling that too with those long runs. Um, but you so, have some strategies, some things you're doing to try to avoid the pain, right? Yes, I definitely do. Um, something I do in my training that helps is cross training, and I use that for active recovery and to build strength. So I do a lot of swimming and biking in addition to my running and really paying attention to the body care details. So I do foam rolling, stretching, using the stick. Um, so show us some of this stuff because uh, I know you look at me and you think this guy's training for a marathon, <laughs> but I have no idea what you're talking about. So, so this is a foam roller. All right. It's something I use for um, bigger muscle groups, such as like your hamstrings. So it's really great to roll out those muscles. You and you do this before or after? Yeah. I do this after. So okay. it's a night routine I do, just getting ready for bed. Um, I'll just do foam, foam roll it out for 10 to 15 minutes, and then you can use something called the stick for smaller areas like your calves and your Achilles if you have those types of issues and it's just um, a little it's more similar thing specific. it's a similar roller type idea yes and, okay and this, this is painful look so at this thing <laughs> This, uh, well, when you're in pain, you that what. could feel really good, Jason. So. I've had a tight yeah. hamstring, and that's not fun really to deal does. with. Oh. So, Doctor, tell us about some of the most common types of injuries that you've seen. Well, specifically with, like, long-distance runners and people like that, it's uh, mostly you have knees, hips, hamstrings, you know, in the low back, things like that. Everything associated with gait, which is kind of a fancy way of saying the way that you run and the way that it works. And so kind of... What we do, in addition to what she's doing with all of her training, is we kind of help her get the most out of her training by making sure that her body is in proper alignment, making sure that the brain is communicating with the body so she can get the absolute most out of everything that she's doing. And this is good advice for people who might not be training for a whole marathon, but if they're doing any sort of running at all, good to uh, work out those hamstrings and, and get your body in good shape. So you guys, thanks so much good for luck. coming in. Good luck, good luck, marathon yeah, good luck number to eight. You, and I'll good see you at the finish. <laughs> That's right.